Hey guys, thought I'd do another video. Been a little while. I've got the uh, I've got the Mr. Heater buddy uh, going here. It's about 47 outside, so it's not extraordinarily cold. Uh, but uh, got that going. Uh, another addition I made is up here. I do now have, in addition to the carbon monoxide sensor, I did a little wiring here, and I've got the uh, I've got the uh, propane uh, detector uh, up and going. I've still got the uh, the big propane 20 pound tank here. Still nothing in it. Yeah, you, know, you know, I've just I've just uh, I haven't haven't gotten it filled. I'm still using the little the little propane cylinders here, so. Uh, it's not too much for the next few days. Uh, probably next week I will uh, get that filled up. Finally found a place that's relatively close I can get it filled up. Wasn't that difficult. Uh, so, other than that, not much. I did manage. It's it's a little bit neater in here. I did manage to get the uh, the uh, the big XXL Celsius XXL zero degree Fahrenheit Celsius zero degree Fahrenheit bag okay like I said doesn't make sense but I did get it back in its uh, in its case I, I'm gonna I'm looking for a fancy way to fold it to get it in there you just have to stuff it in there it this it's not the healthiest way to 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 uh, to store away a sleeping bag and probably shorten the life of it but uh, it got out of, it got it out of the way for the time being uh, the wave three is up here I've I've actually got the feet on it and uh, I've got the uh, the cable to connect it to the tank. I was going to connect it to one of these bottles, but I don't have an adapter for the bottles. Uh, they don't advise doing that. It's nothing dangerous about it. They say it would just freeze up. But if you notice down here, uh, even with the, uh, the Mr. Heater Portable Buddy, it's still got the frost at the bottom here. So uh, that's, that's just the nature of using these bottles, I think. Uh, that's going to happen. Uh, nothing much done. I've, I have, uh, you know, I like the way these wires are set up across here. I could get a single conduit and, and hide those. And a single conduit and hide this bunch down here and another one. I uh, don't really need one because there's a single conduit around this side. Uh, I like it. I'm just, uh, you know, uh, the reason I didn't put up. Uh, you know sheets of siding or sheets of, of wood is because You know, I'm new at this and it's taken me a while to get the hang of how to wire this thing and when to wire it Now that I know how to wire now I just didn't want the restriction of having to get all of this done and and not think about it and then be stuck with something that's that's half done uh, so I've just I just wired an extension I bought from uh, uh, boy, well, uh an extra long uh, extension uh, cord from this 12 volt jack down here across and around to this uh, putting the uh, the socket here which I could attach my uh, propane sensor to and I decided to also to put a splitter on there so it'll give me a spare uh, and I don't have many spare around here I pretty much got this thing you know pretty much stuffed with 12 volt stuff but I have a a spare socket here or uh, that I can attach something else to uh, so that's basically what I'm looking at there and uh, I just like this thing the way it is I'm not gonna make any changes I'm not going to put it up and try to pretty it I'm not trying to make it the uh, remarkably remarkably well put together rustic van that I see everybody else doing I'm just getting something that's practical and working and this is this is working like I'll get out right now it's really is uh, coming along I'm still having issues with charging uh, my batteries I do use the generator sometime but my intelligent charger a genius charger for some reason is is not doing it I have to tinker with it and sometimes it doesn't work, so I might have to get another charger set. Uh, not nothing wrong with the Genius charger; it just might not be suitable for charging a battery bank instead of just a single battery. You would think that I put the positive into the negative, the positive on one battery to the negative on the other, so I am covering the whole uh, bank, but it's still not working well. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. 
So uh, I got to figure that out. But in the meantime, everything else is going pretty good. But uh, so I'm really getting this place down now. I really like getting that propane sensor. So when I do put propane in this tank, well, there's even propane in this tank. So if it leak, that would show it. But that close to a flame, if it would leak, I don't think I'd be surprised about what's going on. And uh, I've said before, I've got my. I always keep this very handy. I just got it still on a shelf right beside me. And that is my, uh, it's a Tundra. It is a uh, first alert, uh, uh, sort of a tiny uh, fire extinguisher. So I'll just set that to the side. So that's about where I'm stopping right now. I've got to get more gas for my generators. I'll do that in the morning. Uh, not in the morning, <laughs> sometime during the day. It needs to be in the morning so I can actually see if I can work out the generator charging issue. But uh, that's about all I've got. I'm in a, a Walmart parking lot. I've sort of, I got a Walmart, a Sam's, another Walmart, and another location uh, that I'm not specifying that I can, uh, that I can stay. So I'm sort of rotating between those. Uh, never staying two nights. I did say two nights once at one Walmart, but... Um, also, this Walmart has a huge parking lot, so I can actually move from one part of this parking lot to another. And then across the street is a Sam's that also allows a, a, a van parking and RV parking. So I've got a good selection of areas around here. Nice. Well, you know, it's, it's about as much as I can expect. Ah, Star Wars movie uh, pro, uh, premieres uh, tomorrow, so I might go see that tomorrow night if I've got the time and the inclination. I hear, it's, I hear it doesn't have the greatest reviews, but I never watch a movie for the reviews. I've seen all the other Star Wars movies, so I might as well go see this one. All right, that's all I've got, and I will be back. Uh, hopefully, you know, I probably won't, I might not fill this tank up until next week, because I've got a few more of these little propane canisters to go through. Um, so that's about, that's where I'm going there. And I've also got to do some more work on the van in the near future. Uh, I've got to decide when I'm going to do that. And, uh, yeah, everything else is pretty much going as normal. Uh, I'll catch up with you on uh, again uh, tomorrow, and we'll see what we're going to do next. Uh, I did get a... I do have issues with the van heater in the, uh, in the, in the, the, the vehicle part of the van. Uh, so, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. And I'll have to track down that. I, if I can track down that, I could probably do it myself, so... I could say it'd be hundreds of dollars. All right, I will talk to you later, and I will get back probably tomorrow or the next day, and we'll talk about what else I've got planned, whether I put gas in this tank immediately or not.